In this video, I will explain the basics of creating files for the CNC laser using parts designed in Autodesk Inventor. In another video in this suite, I talk more about different software programs that can be used to create laser cutting graphics, but since Inventor is the CAD program we run in our workshop, I want to focus on this application. I'll also be dealing with specifically the Epilogue Helix CNC laser, so be aware that your laser might be a little bit different. For this demonstration, I will be using this model of a keychain. I need to create a drawing file that will print to the laser. And I have a blank template set up just for laser cutting, so I'm going to open that. This sheet is 24 inches by 18 inches, just like the bed on the Epilogue Helix. This allows me to see the actual size and position of my work on the bed. Before I make any changes to my template, I'm going to click on the application menu and save as so I don't overwrite my blank template. I want to be sure that I'm saving this file in a location that can easily be found later and also give it a descriptive name. Now I can import my object. I click base in the place views panel and the front view of my part automatically appears since it is the only other file I have open. If yours doesn't appear automatically, you'll have to browse for your part file. In the Drawing View window, verify that the scale of your view is one-to-one. -one. Sometimes Inventor brings these parts in at a different scale than you intended. If the scale is correct and the front view is showing up the way you intended, click OK to keep it. You can now click on the red ants surrounding the view and drag it to the desired location on the page. I want to cut my keychain out of the top left corner of the material, so that's where I'll position it. Now I can zoom in for a closer look. Some of these lines are going to be rastered, or burned into the surface of my material, but other lines are going to be cut out in the process called vector cutting. In order for the laser to understand where to cut and where to raster, I need to change the settings of some of the lines. The laser will only cut on lines that are 0.001 inches thick or smaller. So the lines that make up the outer edge and the hole will need to be that thin. I can select all of these line segments by holding the control key on my keyboard and clicking on them. Next I right click on one of the lines and select properties from the menu. In the edge properties window, I want to change the line type to continuous, the color to black, and the line weight to 0 0.001 inches, then click OK. Now when I send this file to the laser, it will know to cut the thinner lines and engrave the thicker ones. I could send this file to the laser just as it is now, and in my next video I'll show you how to prepare the file for the laser. However, there are a couple more techniques for creating laser cutting files in Inventor that you should know about. For this demo, I'm going to bring in a blank keychain design just like I did before, making sure my scale is still one to one. I'm also going to perform the same actions to position my image and to change the settings of the exterior lines so the laser will cut them instead of engraving. However, instead of rastering the outline of my letters, I want the letters to be bold. So I'm actually going to create a sketch in my drawing file to produce the bold text. To do this, I click on the Sketch tab, then the Start Sketch button, then finally I click the red ants around my blank keychain design. Now I have my full panel of sketch tools available, and I can create my bold text. Once I get the text just the way I want it, I click Finish Sketch. Now when I send this file to the laser, it will raster these nice bold letters and a border, and it will vector cut around the outside of the keychain. You can use this method for other kinds of artwork too. 
I created text in my sketch, but you can really engrave anything you can draw using the 2D sketch tools. There is another technique for including images that are more detailed than you can create in a sketch, like photos or images from the web. To show this technique, I'm going to add one more blank keychain to my drawing. Instead of placing a new view on the drawing and having to change the line thicknesses again, I'm simply going to copy this view and place a duplicate on my sheet, then delete the sketch with the bold text. Now my lines are already prepared for cutting and I can place an image on the blank space to be engraved. To do this, I need to click the Manage panel, then Insert Object. I could insert all sorts of objects into my drawing, but for this example, I'm looking for a photo. So I'm going to click Create from File, then Browse, and find my photo in its folder on the computer. For this example, I think I'll make a keychain for my shark friend. Once I select the picture I want to insert, I click Open, then OK, then I click where I want to place the image on my page, and I resize the image to fit. This image is now ready for the laser. In my next video, I'll show you how to send your file to the laser, and how to configure the laser's settings for different materials. If you're new to Inventor, check out the other videos on my page that run through the basics of creating models, 2D sketching, and using Inventor drawing files. Good luck! Thanks for watching.